YouTube. Yeah, we're there, you know, it's the king of the road. Coming to you live once more again. Yeah, we're going to elaborate on the word. The word that made us who we are. The word that sustain us. In this word, we have life today. Don't ever mistake it as not. The word has given us life. So shouldn't we testify? I mean, like I said, I'm going to go into spirit right now. So for those viewers that can't relate, I understand in time you'll find your way. For those viewers that understand or can relate because they're seekers also of truth and being in spiritual divinity. Me coming to this world, like I said, 40 years ago, I'm a very young creation. Very, very young creation. I can't really make a judgment on the past. Yes, the spirit was there, but physically, in flesh, I was not. So I can't make any judgment on the past. But what I can make judgment is from the time I was born to where I'm at now. So the only thing that I could testify of in life is the word that I was presented to, just like every being before me in the past. So that's why I say, you know, I can't talk and elaborate on something that I haven't witnessed. The only thing I've witnessed and came in contact with is the word, the word of God. And this is why I share the word to you because it's the word that made me who I am today. I'm not ashamed of speaking about it because I know the word can pick up anybody that's down because the word make you unbeliever. The word builds your faith. The word give you confidence. I'm called by that word. So I'm not, I know it's, it's a purpose why I'm here today and why I was born. Because I wouldn't have the spirit what I have from a very young age to be attracted to desire of truth. My desires led me down this hole. I call it a hole because it's like a rabbit. You know, you, when you're curious, you'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Even though you're tired, just dig and dig and dig, you know. So as a child, I was curious, you know. I was curious and, and, and so curious that I, I didn't just pick a source of group of people and just stay there. I mingled with everybody. I mingled with every culture, every religion. I could realistically say I was a part of every religion, you know, because every religion was speaking the word, but what I got, they wouldn't go into the word. So of course I couldn't stay there. I had to move on. But the thing is, I wanna uh, again touch. We was born into every culture you could think of. So it's like my spirit was so aware that it was like, I don't wanna keep doing this no more. I don't wanna keep on doing the same thing. Like I've been this already. And then I would look at the word and say, but I haven't been this. So maybe, I need to become this word because this word was talked about way before I was born. But other generation couldn't become the word, you know, because like I said, the world is very influenced. And for you to go on a path different from the world, most people don't have the courage and the strength to do that. But I seen, I was curious, I was determined, you know, I want to change. And to change into the word gave me power, it gave me strength, it gave me a future, it gave me purpose. And I could give this life back to any individual that wanted, especially we can create new, we could build better. 
But this word has changed my life. And I share this word with you. We are the eternal creation of God. Right there from the beginning to where we are now, to making the word become flesh. It's like a favorite, famous verse in the verse. It says, I think I went over this again. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the word was God. Now, how did people change the name of who we are to build something else? I have no idea. But that's not for me to judge. All I could do is testify in what the word has made me become. God in flesh. Yes, it's rightfully I. God in flesh. The true and living king. The one true God. This is not mistaken. This is facts over opinions. It's, I was born to fulfill. It's a written world we're all born into. Universe principles, which I say is laws because principles, you can't change principles. So they're law, <laughs> you know, that's a law to me. When you can't change something, that's a law. You can't go around and not like the laws of man when you could change and amend and do all these things. These laws can't be changed. It's ordained. So rise with the true and living king. Lead with me on every social network. Born Redeemer. Twitter is Follow God Ways. There you will find me. So King God Almighty, respect you all, royal people. Yes, I am a born leader.